Hey, this is the Fight Nerd, and joining me now is fellow New Yorker and the New York badass, Phil Baroni. Phil, how's it going today? It's going good. Just got finished sparring, man. Just, uh, just got done with a hard workout. All right, now you're getting ready for uh, your fight against Brad Tavares at UFC 125 on New Year's Day. So, how are you getting ready for Brad? Uh, I'm just training real hard. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm, I'm at AKA and I'm, I'm training real hard, and I'm uh, doing what I got to do to, to be to be in great shape and be able to uh, put a good, good performance on New Year's. Start the year off right. Yeah, that's right. Now, your, your last fight in UFC was well over a year ago, a loss to uh, Amir Sadola. And you were set to fight at UFC 118, but had an injury. So, uh, is that injury fully recovered now? Yeah, it, it, it's done. I, I broke my collarbone. I dislocated it. it it's, it's healed. And, uh, you know, it's not bothering me at all in my journey. So you, you've been basically itching to get back in the octagon. I mean, how hard is that just to have to wait this long to get back in the cage again? No, I needed the time. I, I definitely needed the time. Uh, it, it's been to my benefit, you know. So, uh, you know. I, I definitely need to get away. I went to Thailand. I went to Tiger Muay Thai. Got my head right. And uh, I came back, started my prep. My other, my other prep wasn't going that right. It uh, wasn't going that well. So maybe it was a good thing I got hurt. But uh, you know, my prep right now is right on target, right on point. And uh, I'm feeling good going into this fight. Now, you just mentioned you went over to Thailand to train at uh, Tiger Muay Thai. So how was that experience for you? It, it was a great experience. You know, it, was, it was great going over to Thai boxing. It was great. Being over there, being away, being away from the pressures and distractions at home, it was just a great place to come on my. I, I definitely needed it. Is, is there a different mentality for fighting over there, or is it similar to how we have it in America? It, it's completely different. I mean, everything about that place is different. The culture, uh, there's nothing the same about how they fight, about how they train. It's completely different, and I think I uh, picked some stuff up over there that I can use over here to my, my advantage. So we're going to see a brand new Phil Baroni basically at UFC 125. Uh, I don't know about a brand new, but you're going to see a uh, much improved and uh, you know uh, guys are going on a, on a win streak. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a streaky fighter, and I feel like now's my time to go on a streak, a nice win streak. You know, I think I compete with a lot of these guys in the UFC right now. You know, and uh, I'm going to prove it by getting through. Uh, Brad Tavares, I think he's the toughest guy that I've fought in the last couple of in the last couple of years. So, so beating him will, uh, you know, put put the right step to uh, compete with the with the top guys in the UFC 185 pounds. All right, now is this fight with Tavares going to be a do or die fight in terms of your contract with the UFC? Now, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not one to make those calls. Me, I mean, it like far. Uh, whatever his name is, uh, Tyson Griffin, he lost four times, he didn't get cut. I'm, I'm not sure what, what they think, you know, you know, my situation, but, you know, uh, no, no pressure. I mean, I've been in this position my whole life. I never won my next fight. I've got to retire, you know, over the last six years. So, you know, I, I don't find it as a high pressure situation. I've split big fights all around the world for, 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 for years. You know, I, I think this is a high pressure fight for Tobias fighting me on New Year's Day. In Las Vegas, my home. And I think it's the big, you know, I, I think he's the one who has the pressure on him. You don't want to come out of the gate losing your first fight in the UFC. I mean, me, I'm, I'm going to be okay. You know, I, I'm giving myself, you know, four years, just like a, a college season, and, and maybe one more year. Took this one great, a red shirt year. So, you know, I have my plan. I'm not worried about it. You know, I'll, I'll look to fight another big regardless. All right, now. I've noticed with a lot of your fights, you tend to be fighting off of something emotional. So I wanted to ask you, uh, what is it that drives you to fight? Uh, yeah, nothing personal against this guy. You know, he's a nice kid. I, I've met him before at, at Las Vegas at, at Victoria. You know, he's a nice guy. What's driving me to fight right now is, you know, I, I like my life. I like my lifestyle. I like, uh, I, I, I like, you know, being my own boss. I like not having to work a nine to five and, 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 and being a professional athlete. You know, I realize I'm lucky to have this, and I'm blessed, and it, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not my right. It's a privilege, and uh, I want to keep it. And I want, I want to, I want to keep, you know, live, living my lifestyle. I, I want to do well. The UFC right now is ten times bigger than it was, and I think I can get a couple wins. That you know, I can get, I can get, get a piece of whatever else. Is getting. You know, I see a lot of guys get, get, get getting a lot, and I dedicated my life to the sport. And uh, you know, there was no money in the sport when I was into it. There, there wasn't much. 
there wasn't much to gain out of it, you know, just, just being tough, tough satisfaction. I, I, I want to gain a little bit. I want to be at peace with all these other guys I get right now. You know, whether it's fame, money, whatever it is, I, I, I want it. I want, I want a piece of it. I want to, you know, and I want to make my mark and give you a seat to the new fans. All right, now. I want to ask you about something a little uh, different from the fighting world. There's a video from a few years ago of you talking about your car, which was a Buick at that time. So I wanted to ask if you're still driving the same car, or did you finally get yourself a new one? Man, I'm driving a rent the car right now. Rent I got an F-150. The, 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 the Buick's dead at my house. The, the, the Buick's at my house right now is dead. Uh, so I got to win this fight and buy a new car. So that's more or less the uh, the big thing for this fight. Is once you win this, you get to buy yourself a new car. Yeah, exactly. That's motivation right there. I need, I, need, I need some wheels. I need to get around. Just run the car shit. It's cost me an arm and a leg. And, uh, you know, it's, it's time to get something nice. But like I said, all these guys have a lot of nice things getting from the UFC. It's time for me to turn in that beauty and get something, you know, that says, you know, badass all over it. All right, sounds cool. Now, you did an interview earlier this year with Fight Magazine uh, where you mentioned you'd like to retire sooner than later, but you need to make some more money. So... Let's just say that you got all the money you wanted and you did retire. What would you be doing if you weren't fighting? I, I, I was goofing around. You know, I, I love fighting. I want to fight as long as I can. I want to, I want to ride this bitch to, you know, to the wheels, wheels fall off. You know, what am I going to do? Who knows? Maybe I'll move to Thailand, open up a, or, or open up a gym, or, or, or move to Hawaii or something. I don't know. I move to my tropical and nice where I could uh, move off the land, so to say. You know, this is a long way away, but... How do you see yourself matching up against the current UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva? Man, I think you know. I think I think the game plan to beat him finish, you know, been exploited, and everyone says you know the, the fighters today are better than this and that. And it's the same fight as Anderson Silva's been fighting, you know, o o over ten years, and, 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 and so is Charles Sonnen. It's all the same guys are the best guys to top. I think you know it's been revealed how to beat that guy. I think, you know, I, I think I have the ability to do it. You know, I, I know from my head on, on the scorecards, I'm not going to get triangle for the last 30 seconds. All right, now if you want, Phil, go ahead and uh, thank any sponsors you might have for this fight. Uh, well, right now, you know, Affliction is my sponsor for the last couple of years, and uh, I'd like to thank them for the support. All right, well, sounds good. Now, uh, you viewers can check out Phil Baroni at UFC 125 Resolution on New Year's Day on pay-per-view. Phil, good luck, and represent New York for us. Yeah, well, you know I do. Thanks, guys.